The Ada F. Hall House is one of the oldest dwellings in Pembroke and was deeded to the Pembroke Historical Society in 1968. It now has a regular caregiver and PCN is excited to bring you this update. But we're also excited by the two producers of this story, Violet and Matt, who are seniors at Pembroke High School and as part of their senior year independent studies, they have produced this video for PCN. So in 2014, um, I took over as the caretaker here at the Ada Hall House and um, we've been very busy here um, along with the trustees that we have. We have a wonderful um, board of trustees who uh, kind of oversee everything. But um, we brought on Nate Bregley, who uh, is a chef at Almanova, and also he um, grows a lot of the produce for the restaurant here. Uh, last year, Nate's garden was a little smaller than it is this year. This year, he's expanding it. Um, also, we've expanded our chicken project. That's another major thing we've done here at Ada Hall um, since I moved in. Um, last year, we had all Plymouth Rock chickens. This year, we have um, guinea hens, both black and pearl guinea hens, as well as French guinea hens. We have Americanus chickens, as well as Australops. So they look sort of um, prehistoric, but they're very nice chickens. I haven't had any in, uh, incidents where they are attacking anybody or anything. And there, that's Patrick. Um, who just ran across the floor upstairs. Uh, Patrick is the other addition to the Ada Hall House. Um, he is my cat uh, and uh, he came here as a little kitten. And I'm hoping that by the end of the year, uh, some of the children in Pembroke will know Patrick a little bit better because I'm working on a short, a short story, actually it'll be a children's book, where Patrick will get to meet uh, some of the people that have made this building home for the past 331 years, starting with Robert Barker Jr. and going all the way up into uh, the Ada Hall days. Uh, projects coming up, well recently we had electricity brought to the barn, uh, which we did not have electricity for a long time, so that was done. Um, some painting here and there has been done uh, on the house, and also uh, I believe there's going to be work being done on the basement, which um, it's a typical, you know, um, 17th century basement um, and uh, we're hoping to, to have the house uh, you know um, more uh, a more visible presence in the community I mean obviously it's visible but um, uh, if you see my car here generally I'm here and I'm 90 percent of the time I'm willing to uh, show you through the house uh, if you stop by but usually we really like you to make an appointment by calling the historical society but we have a great number of people that all care about this place and uh, including the historical society and of course our, our trustees nothing could happen without them um, so I'm very pleased uh, to welcome you to the Ada Hall House That's a good update, and congratulations to Violet and Matt, who did a wonderful job with that. We're really pleased that PAC-TV is the educational access provider for Pembroke High School, and there's a lot of students like these two who get involved with Titan TV. Uh, in at the high school, they have their own studio, so we're really happy to see this happening. Yeah, definitely. From a technical standpoint, they did a lot of great stuff in there, uh, a lot of good footage, and the sound of whatever animal that was to close out the story <laughs> really kind of put the nice bow on it and to tie it all together, so that was a really great job. Good for them.